to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be uh, looking at one of the 35 stocks um, that Peter that uh, Y charts has screened for that have uh, Peter Lynch like characteristics. Uh, they screen for stocks that are uh, small cap, have low peg ratio, uh, low debt to equity ratio, and uh, have something of a dividend. And uh, those are all kind of Peter Lynch like qualities. So um, yeah, they come up with a list of 35 stocks. Um, and today I'm going to be looking at um, this guy right here, San Juan Basin Royalty Trust, ticker symbol is SJT. Um, so yeah, uh, according to Y charts, uh, it gives it a rating, a void, a uh, value score of nine out of ten, uh, fundamental score of four out of ten, and a valuation historical multiple of positive sixty one point six seven percent. So it's undervalued um, by sixty one percent, roughly, um, compared to its history. So, anyways, the profile of this company. San Juan Basin Royalty Trust is an energy sector royalty trust in the United States. It owns approximately 75% net profit interest in a large number of natural gas properties in San Juan Basin of New Mexico. About 98% of the royalties San Juan collects come from natural gas uh, with the balance coming from oil. So it sounds like it's a royalty trust. Um, this is the second royalty trust in this list that we've done. There was another one. Um, Northern European Royalty Trust uh, that we did a video on not too long ago. Same kind of situation except over in Europe. Natural Gas Royalty Trust. Uh, the ticker symbol for that was S NRT. Make sure you check that one out. But um, yeah, this guy here is uh, got a market cap of just over 400 million. Dividend yield 17.33%, which is pretty high. Uh, that's 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 pretty good. Um, yeah, the five-year revenue growth is 16.51%. Revenue quarterly year, year growth is 252%. Uh, EPS diluted five-year growth 20.89%. EPS quarterly year-over-year -year growth is 272.1%. Uh, so it's been doing really well lately. Obviously, natural gas prices have been. Uh, pretty wild lately. And they are, typically are, but especially so lately because of what's happening um, in the Ukraine and Russia and all that kind of business. So, um, yeah, natural gas prices have um, been pretty volatile lately, and they're obviously making uh, doing pretty well as, as a consequence of that. The debt to equity ratio is zero. Return on equity is well over a thousand percent. The PE ratio is 7.281. Uh, yeah, so let's look at some of the key stats here. Uh, does it have cash and short-term investments of six million? So it probably just like has a little bit of cash here and there. Well, I think I imagine most of his cash goes to distributions, covering that 17% dividend. Um, no long-term debt. Um, typical, I guess, of like a royalty trust. Um, yeah, that return on, return on equity is pretty wild. The PE ratio, yeah, we covered that. Um, just over seven. The PEG ratio is very low, 0 0.0402. Um, the payout ratio on the dividend is zero for some reason. Not sure why that is, but. That's the dividend yield history. So it's quite high right now. Um, I guess you have to like wonder uh, how long can natural gas prices stay high? Because um, that's a pretty high dividend. It's a pretty awesome dividend. I know that like uh, with that other company as well, Northern European Royalty Trust, I plan on doing another video with that because I was actually taking a look at the annual reports for it. Um, it seems like, um, um, yeah, I mean, you have to kind of be wondering what's going to happen with the prices of natural gas, especially in Europe. Um, things have changed there so much. So um, that these kinds of companies, the royalty trusts, natural gas royalty trust companies, I don't know about this one in Texas as much, but um, I know the ones in Canada um, and natural gas companies in Canada are doing not too bad. Um, 
of course they're all like uh, they're not like oil companies they're not quite the same they're a lot more regional um, so the prices like aren't universal like they are with oil um, and um, they're really volatile they're really kind of like weather dependent as well so um, it's a lot different than kind of like uh, oil uh, as far as like uh, commodities go but um, still if you can find a low cost producer um, they can be quite lucrative um, anyways I'm kind of rambling um, <laughs> look at the share is outstanding 46 million not much going on there um, yeah San Juan Basin Royalty Trust yeah, I don't know a lot about this one, but maybe I might have to put that on my watch list and just dig into that a little bit more. Because, um, I mean, that's a really healthy dividend. And, I mean, if it's sustainable, that would be incredible. Um, but even if it wasn't, it comes down even a little bit. 17% is pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, moving on. If uh, you're interested in... Um, keeping up to date with what's happening with this Peter Lynch portfolio, make sure you check out my website, peterlynchinvestor.com. Uh, I update the site with this portfolio routinely as well. I have a newsletter there. So if you subscribe to that, uh, you'll get regular updates on what's happening with this portfolio. And, or you can also subscribe to the channel where I plan on doing more of these kinds of videos. Okay. Thanks very much.